Hello everyone. Today's question is based upon numbers. We'll be solving a question related to factors of a given number. So the question is n is a natural number such that n by 3 is a perfect square and n by 17 is a perfect cube. Which of the following can be the number of factors of n? So we have to deal with number of factors. Now you all must be knowing how to calculate the number of factors of a given number. For example, if I say 250, first of all, you will have to write down its prime factorization, which will be 2 into 5 cube. Now to find out the factor, we'll increase the powers by 1 and we'll multiply them. So 1 plus 1, 3 plus 1, we'll multiply both. We'll be getting number of factors equal to 8. Similar concept has to be used over here. We can see that n is being divided by 3 and 17. So definitely n will comprise of 3 to the power something and 17 to the power something. So let the powers be a and b. Now first of all, let us deal with the divided by 3 part. We have 3 to the power a. We have to divide the number by 3. After that, we should get a perfect square. Perfect square, that means the power of 3 must be a multiple of 2 after dividing by 3. So we can say that a must be equal to 2n plus 1. So when you divide the number by 3, you will be getting 3 to the power 2n. That means it is becoming a perfect square. But since this 17 to the power b is also attached to n, so we cannot ignore it. On dividing by 3, the whole number n should become a perfect square. Now if we deal with the divided by 17 part, we know that 17 to the power b, it will be divided by 17 and then we'll be getting a perfect cube. So b should be in form of 3m plus 1. So in that case, this extra 1 in the power will get reduced and we'll be getting 17 to the power 3m. So first of all, the basic structure of n or the basic prime factorization of n, it will be in form of 3 to the power 2n plus 1 into 17 to the power 3m plus 1. This should be the basic form of n. Now if you divide n by 3, you will be getting 3 to the power 2n into 17 to the power 3m plus 1. So this should be a perfect square. Similarly, when we divide it by 17, we will be getting 3 to the power 2n plus 1 into 17 to the power 3m and this should be a perfect cube. So here we can say that if we put n equal to 1, m equal to 1, so we will be getting n equal to 3 cube into 17 to the power 4. If you divide this number by 3, you get a perfect square. If you divide this number by 17, you get a perfect cube. So that means now number of factors of n, it can be written as 2n plus 2 into 3m plus 2. I hope this is clear. This is the same thing that we did over here. So now we have to check for what value of n or m can we get these options. So if you put n equals to 2, m equals to 2, because we have already seen n equal to 1, m equal to 1. If you now put n equal to 2, m equal to 2, you will be getting 6 into 8, which gives us 48. It is not in the options. If you now put n equals to 3, m equal to 3, you will be getting 8 into 11, which gives us 88. If you put n equals to 4, m equal to 4, you will be getting 10 into 14, which gives us 140. So n will be equals to 3 to the power 2 n plus 1, n was 4. So 3 to the power 9 into 17 to the power m is also 4. So it will be 13. But now if you divide n by 3, you won't be getting a perfect square because then you will get 3 to the power 8 into 17 to the power 13. So if there is 17 to the power 13, we cannot say it is a perfect square. So let us again go back to the initial point because clearly n cannot be this. So till this point, everything was fine. When we were dividing n by 3, we were getting a perfect square. When we, when we were dividing n by 17, we were getting a perfect cube. So that means we'll have to arrange something over here so that on dividing by 3, it remains a perfect square and on dividing by 17 it remains a perfect cube because in this case we are getting the number of factors equal to 20. So the thing that we are going to attach over here it should be something 
which should be both a perfect square as well as a perfect cube. Why? Because we are only disturbing the powers of 3 and 17. So definitely that number should also be a prime. Let it be P and its power should be such that it is a perfect cube as well as a perfect square. So its power should be a multiple of 6. So let it be 6K. So we can say that now the factors of N, it will be equal to 2N plus 2 because power here was 2N plus 1 then 3m plus 2 and 6k plus 1 so now if i put n equals to 1 i'll be getting 4 into if i put m equals to 1 i'll be getting 5 if i put k equals to 1 i'll be getting 7 so 7 5 is 35 4 140 this is an acceptable case some of you might have written 140 just by taking n as 3 to the power 9 into 17 to the power 13 but it is not following the given conditions while this number this number is following all the conditions so option b will be the correct answer so you always have to cross check that all the conditions in the end are being satisfied or not if there is any doubt please ask again thank you